Hey everybody, how are you? Jeff Kelman, a solid canine training with my What Would Jeff Do Dog Training Tip of the Day, tip number 191. All right, um, you've probably seen on my Instagram stories, I'm sorry, on my Instagram wall and on my Facebook wall, these little one minute memes, a little bit on Facebook, a little bit longer. There's the header and their footer and they're like, you know, they, they're outtakes from my, my, my uh, podcast. But the last couple of ones, I've been really talking about a lot about prong collars and tools because we're tool centric. And there's a lot of people that um, are very supportive and they're sharing their stories and their owners talking about how their life used to suck before prong collars and now it's great. People should really pay attention to those. And then every once in a while you get a jerk on there um, and I delete most of that stuff. It was interesting. It's funny because someone posted something on there this morning. I deleted it because it's not helpful. And it made me think about like, you know what? I can, this is a great example of how I can help people more. This was the comments. I forgot the person's name. This is what he said. Here you go. I can walk my German Shepherds without a prong collar or an e-collar. Click on my bio for more info. Okay, a couple of things. So number one, you're a dick. You came onto my page and you promoted your own business, which is just not allowed and it's uncool. Number two, you're, you're basing your comment off of ego. So, I can also walk my four German Shepherds, one Malinois, one Turkish Kengel, and two Chihuahuas all at the same time, all on slip leads, or even better than that, off leash. Big deal. I'm a dog trainer. Like, now what do you got to say? Now should we unzip our pants and like compare? Is this a contest? Is this about you? Fine, I'll give it to you. You're a better dog trainer than me. No problem with that at all. I have no problem saying that at all. Millions of people are. Guys, this whole dog training thing, it's not about us as dog trainers. It's about our clients. And so many folks out there are like showing off or showing what they could do. That's nice, wonderful. You should be able to have minimal to good skills. Why? That's your job. Now, the magic is, can the owners do it? Can the owners duplicate it? And not with your dogs, your specially bred German Shepherd dogs or Malinois who are prone to behave really well. But a client's dog that has a crappy relationship, no leash handling skills, and the dog is destroying their lives. That's the magic. Can we help them? That's what you should be shouting about. Not about your skills, but helping owners. How helpful can you be? That's what we do. And I'm putting this out there because I don't want owners to see trainers working with no tools or limited tools and think that that's how it should be done. Mm -mm. You use as many tools as you need for as long as you need to make you, you the dog owner's life better. That's what this business is about. It's because I care about you. Jeff Gelman, Salt Lake Canine Training, madly in love with you, and I'll talk to you later.